Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from New York City. Today is May 19, 2022 and right now it's 6.46 p.m. New York time. Outside temperature is currently 66 degrees Fahrenheit, that is 19 degrees Celsius and I'm here inside the Grand Central Terminal. This is one of the busiest uh, train station in the world. Almost 150,000 people use this station every single day. So in this video, basically, I will explore Midtown Manhattan and I just start my video from inside Grand Central Terminal. I do not have any specific location or direction to go. We will just hang around Midtown Manhattan and try to see how life is going on and if you just join kindly hit that like button so I can move forward and start exploring gorgeous Manhattan and let's see we joining hey Carolyn in Jenny Steven Roni C Gigi and Weiss in the house Muffinski glad to see you Peggy Muffinski say I used to use Grand Central every day this is one of the nicest and the busiest train station I guess in the world and one of the world renowned and I always enjoy this particular view you are just seeing right now like this is one of my favorite point to take some pictures if I hear ever hey Fury hello so I just uh, done for this semester I just finished my exam today and I took a train and get out at Grand Central Terminal and I thought it would be a pretty fun day to explore with you guys and now I had so much free time since I'm done with the exam. Hey, Bob Kish, welcome. Hey, Brian from Equator, welcome all. So I'm just waiting for many friends to join. After that, we will move forward. And you can see the busy vibes of Grand Central Terminal. It's amazing. I always enjoy. And especially this particular Apple store right here is one of my favorite. And there is one art. I think a ball right here I will show that to you guys it's from Louis Vuitton and Nike they go uh, I mean both just uh, did some sort of sponsorship you will see several artwork throughout New York City that's sponsored by Louis Vuitton and Nike hey Damaris Cologne welcome my friend glad to see you here yeah Jenny's the famous Tiffany clock and there is a hidden stairs beneath Beneath this uh, clock, there is a hidden stairs that uh, the guard used to go down. In, in case they need to go down, there is a hidden stairs inside this booth. Hey, Nathiel Abram, glad to see you here, my friend. I hope you are doing well, Nathiel. Hey, Megan Foster, welcome, welcome all. Daniel, welcome. Gigi said, congrats on end of your semester, well done. Thanks, Gigi. Yeah, finally, I'm out of stress. Last couple of days, I haven't did a live stream because I was so much busy with my study. And now I'm free. But I do had some sort of summer class. So not exactly free, but at least free for a couple of weeks. Hey, Milan. Hello. Hey, Monica. Hello. Hey, Ludi Mila. Hello. Wayne Mir. Hello. 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 So without further ado, let's begin our walk and start exploring the terminal then we'll get out from the station and we'll explore other part of the city thanks Janice yeah Muffinski now it's time for me to enjoy the weather and I will have plenty of time to make videos and chat with you guys so that's the globe or ball I guess Attention I think I guess it's a globe There's by Louis Vuitton and Nike Stanford first stop Susan said, isn't there an interesting ceiling here? I'm sure you did find your exam. Yes, I did well. Yeah, the ceiling is very interesting. Hey, Laurie Colombo. Thanks for joining. Asuf Laigal, Azmat. Welcome all. So you will find all the Jodic sign in the ceiling of Grand Central Terminal. As you can see, it's pretty nice and unique. The architecture right here in the ceiling it's very very interesting as you can see all the Jodic sign hey Joshua Johnson hello thanks for joining it's 
pretty interesting color as well. But this is the art from Nike and Louis Vuitton. You will see this kind of artwork, different types of artwork throughout the city. And they place one art inside the Grand Central Terminal as well. Hey, Sadie Louis in the house. Welcome, Sadie. Glad to see you here. And they will not be here for a long period of time. They will be here, I guess, until, let me see the date. I see the date, oh, May 31st. So they will be here until May 31st. After that, this art would be removed from Grand Central Terminal. This is new, Joshua. It's from May 21st to May 31st. This art would be here. I mean, not only here, you will see several artwork throughout the New York City that's sponsored by Louis Vuitton and Nike. As usual, Grand Central is always busy. Hey, Andres, thanks for joining. But the thing I really enjoyed about Grand Central Terminal is this chandelier. This chandelier is so pretty and so giant. I just love it. Hey, Clara. Hello. Thanks for joining. This is one of my favorite chandelier. Hey, Noor. Thanks for joining. Did you see that? The chandelier is like a dream. So pretty. And the place I was, I was taking all the picture, it's right up there. The opposite direction of the Apple store, right up there. So from there, you can basically take a great pictures, like a full, full form. You can definitely get a full part of Grand Center Terminal. Hey, J Chad Week, hello, thanks for joining in. And there is a fancy restaurant as well, right up here. Uh, I did see people are taking some sort of food. Let me see. Hey, Jim Corral, hello, thanks for joining. Let me show you guys the restaurant before I get out from the station. But this is the perfect location to take some pictures for sure, if you want to take some pictures. As you can see, this is quite fancy, fancy way. Hey, Willie, glad to see you here, my friend. I hope you are doing well and your wife feeling well as well. See, it's quite nice. But this is the perfect location in order to take some pictures and stuff like that. Hey, why our creation? Hello and welcome. See? People love to take pictures from here and that's one of my favorite location as well for any types of photography. Like you can see the whole terminal in one frame. I think you get enough of the Grand Central Terminal. It's time to get out and explore the other parts of the city. Hey, Connie E, glad to see you here, my friend. I love to see busy, busy Grand Central Terminal again. So if you just join, kindly hit that like button for me. Yeah, no, that cafe is very nice. So I guess Grand Central opened in February 2nd, 1913, if I'm not wrong.
gem crawl i do not have any specific location or direction to go it would be a wonder walk throughout midtown manhattan and we'll see what we could explore finally we are get out from the station yeah willie this place is really amazing hey freddy hello thanks for joining Hey Dan I, hello, thanks for joining. There is one more art in front of Grand Central Terminal. As you can see, it's pretty cute art near the precinct square. Hey Azmat, hello. Thanks, Clara. I just bought that fruit tree from Home Depot and I just post in my uh, YouTube. I love those trees, especially the male lemon tree, improved male lemon and key lime. Hey, Maria K, welcome, my friend. Glad to see you here. Tamara, welcome. Tamara Breton, welcome. Kasif, welcome. Carlos Silva from Rio de Janeiro, welcome. This art is quite unique. We got a bigger version. You see, it's very cute. But we got the bigger one. It's right there credited from the movie Fantasia. It's very cute. Hey, Daryl, welcome, my friend. Glad to see you here as well. Yeah, Kasim, it's a very beautiful, indeed, very beautiful weather. 66 degrees Fahrenheit and it's, I guess, 19 degrees Celsius. It's very cute. In a sense, it looks a bit funny, but it's huge. A huge one right here. As you can see, compared to all these people, you can understand how huge this sculpture is right here. And this is the gorgeous Grand Central Terminal. The golden hour just begin, that's why everything looks so so realistic and nice yeah Connie that's very cute and we are not done here we had one more we had one more here this is this is the last one If you want to see three of these in a one frame, one, two, and three. Let me use my wide angle so you can also see the Grand Central Terminal as well. And the beautiful MetLife building. Hey, Miguel, hello. Thanks for joining. Yeah, that's a rhino for sure. I love those birds. Look at those peasants. Perfect shot. And I guess uh, we had one hour and 10 minutes, one hour and 10 minutes till sunset. So plenty of time. Hey Gian, hello, thanks for joining us from Peru. Look, Grand Central looks so pretty with this sunny vibes, my gosh. Kelly said, what does hippo mean in New York today? I'm not too sure about that. I'm not a very artistic person. I'm not too sure what exactly this art mean, but look at those sculpture and the clock. I never seen this such beautiful way. I think the sun is really enhanced the beauty. Hey, Margaret Pazman, hello, thanks for joining. Yes, Mugal, this is live from New York City. Nothing is edited or pre-recorded live. Yeah, Daniel, the evening makes it 
extra special extra extra special anyway let's continue our exploration and see what else we could see in this lovely city hey Rita hello thanks for joining so this is Precinct Square basically Henry saying lived in New York City 33 years never seen that art until now life in a rush definitely Henry life is like that we are always in rush we we miss small detail in life but I try my best to focus all the small detail I could like this art as you can see it's a quite lovely art Damaris Cologne with $4.99. Pressing Square area is so beautiful. Love the architecture. Thanks, Sifat. Thank you so much, Damaris Cologne. Thanks for the support. And I really appreciate your presence in the chat. As always, you are so generous. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Really appreciate it, my friend. Have a lovely, lovely day. Hey, Rob. Hello. Hey, JSM. Welcome. But we are not done here. Look at that, the gorgeous Chrysler building. It also looks pretty. And in a wide angle, you can see basically the boat, MetLife building, Grand Central Terminal. Oh my gosh, look at all these birds. How lovely scenery we just caught in my camera. It's amazing. It's like a scene from Home Alone 2, lost in New York. All these peasants makes me feel like that. Look at this. They're so cute, so cute. Lots of birds, lots of birds. Look at this scenario. My goodness. Hey, Gregory Kelly. Hello. Hey, Pat. Hello. Yeah, Gigi, exactly. You can remember the peas and lady scene. But look at this. There seems like having some sort of parrot here. Damn, Rescalon said they are cute until poop you. I know. But sometimes bird poops are very lucky. Hey Richard, thanks for joining us from Atlanta. Anyway, we had to move on. Like it's annoying for that. And this is the building called Summit. The brand new observation deck in New York City, you can basically go to top of this building and you can get a pretty good view of Midtown Manhattan. Thank you, Nathia Lavram, appreciate that. So let's check out Bryant Park since I'm in this area. I want to check out that lovely park, one of my favorite park in New York City. I'm not too sure about the green lawn today because it was raining in the morning so might be the grass is a bit wet but I, I am damn sure that people are maybe, maybe sitting on the grass for sure. Richard with $1.99. Thank you so much Richard. Thanks for the support. Thank you Richard. Appreciate that. I uh, appreciate your support. Thank you. Hey Anderson, hello. Hey Annie. Saying pigeons are dirty birds. I don't think so. They are very cute. Very, very cute. Okay.
furiously amazing picture in 4K TV, OMG, yes, I know. In a bigger screen or TV, everything will look amazing. Corey said, which is your favorite observation deck? So I had three favorite observation decks. All of them are very good, but I personally like Empress State Building, Top of the Rock, and Summit or One Vendor Wheel. This three is my favorite. I think few days ago, I was top of the One World Trade Center. That's an amazing observation deck as well. And if you want to see the Western part of Manhattan, then age is not bad. But my personal favorite is Empress State Building, Top of the Rock, and Summit. So this is Madison Avenue and 42nd Street. Alex said, hey, what happened to Times Square? Petition against nuclear war. I'm not too sure about that, but I do know they had an art installed at Times Square that support I mean that related to something like that but I'm not too sure about that I had to check that out Sadie Lois is at five days five days left my goodness I'm getting excited as well Sadie for you Wow, love these vibes here. So this is 5th Avenue and 42nd Street. Yeah, Margaret Pasman, I guess that because it was raining in the morning. So they definitely should stop people sitting on this wet grass. Corey said, do you think the city is back to normal? Almost. Maybe not 100%, but at least 90% back. New York City is 90% back. But the bad thing is, the COVID case in New York City is increasing. So now it's a high risk air alert. That's the sad part of the city. But I, I think everything would be sorted out soon. But the things in New York City is getting improved 90% at least, I could say, from my point of view. Not 100% yet. Hey, Creek Hedrick, hello, thanks for joining. I will quickly check out Bryan Park, then I will head to a Times Square because I want to check out those art that initial at Times Square. Amon Kelly saying hello from Ireland. What is the temperature today? The temperature is very nice right now. It's 66 degree Fahrenheit. It is I guess 19 degrees Celsius very warm like a spring day But it was raining in the morning, but now it's very pleasant like sunny But it was a bit chilly and windy rainy In the morning, but now it's it's good like in spring weather Thank you, Mojo Reja. I appreciate, appreciate that. Drew31 saying, I was just there last week 
and miss it how often do you go live i almost go live every single day or every other day so this is the grace building it's kind of sliding building it looks like a sliding uh stuff but it's a building it's called grace building hey bali hello bali thanks for joining us from texas appreciate that hey bruce wilkinson welcome thanks for joining us from atlanta yes bob kish if you want you can definitely try to slide from grace building and land up into the green lawn at bryan park for sure and i want to give you guys a quick information about bryan park the restroom right here you are seeing this is one of the cleanest restroom public restroom in new york city so if you need to use restroom be prepared because sometimes the line outside of Bryan Park rest, I mean restroom or bathroom is quite long sometimes as you can see the line outside of the bathroom or restroom is quite big hey Davy Black hello thanks for joining it's an office it's an office Margaret hey Katie hello so be prepared if you need to use uh, Brian Park restroom. Hey, Andre, thanks for joining us from Montreal. But this is one of the cleanest public restroom in New York City. That I can ensure you guys, one of the cleanest. Wow. No matter what day or time I arrived, Brian Park Cafe is always busy hey Marsha from Trinidad Alex Fox hello thanks for joining George Dean welcome Michael Mick welcome glad to see you all yeah Margaret Pasman yes Hey, Charlene Rema from Trinidad. Tania from Switzerland. Tania, welcome. Ilin Novak, welcome. John Smith, welcome from Ohio. Yeah, it's been a while. I haven't seen you in my chat, but glad you are joining. So this is the green lawn at Bryant Park. Due to the rain in the morning, the lawn is closed, but they will open again for sure. But this lawn is amazing. If you want to see how people are enjoying into this lawn, I already had a video up on my channel, a dedicated video up on my channel. You can check that out. Joe Kelly Radio Show saying, Thanks, brother, to, to show New York City like no other. You are so talented. Prince played a concert in Bryan Park. Thank you so much, Joe Kelly Radio Show, for joining and appreciate my content. Thank you so much. Joe M.M. from Barcelona. Thanks for joining. But from here, you can get a pretty good view of Manhattan skyline, especially the Bank of America Tower. I already wave at the webcam, but it might be delayed. No, Connie, the lawn is accessible for 24-7, but if it's raining, then they close it, so it would be not muddy. Or the lawn will be not get destroyed it was raining heavily that's why they just closed the uh, closed the lawn but that doesn't have any specific time for the lawn i don't think so they're open all the time This building is Bank of America Tower, Drew 31. This one, Bank of America Tower. And this is Grace Building. And I'm not too sure about this particular building. But you will get a pretty good view of uh, Empress Building from here. Let me show you. But for that, you have to go to a different location. But you can get a pretty good view of uh, Empress Building. 
Drake Tima said, wave to the live cam. I already did. <laughs> Brian Park also had a 24-7 live cam. I think I am the only one who promoted Brian Park a lot and also promote their live cam. If you search Brian Park, my videos will come up at the beginning or at the very first. I don't think anyone else promote Brian Park such like me. Hey, 1954 Yankees, welcome. Thanks for joining. So I'm just going to a place. From there, you can see a pretty good view of Empress State Building. You will get a pretty good view indeed. No, Ili Nevyuk, people are allowed in the grass, but the lawn today is closed because of the wet. It was raining in the morning, so they closed, so no one will get wet or the lawn will not get destroyed. So as you can see from here, the pretty good view of Empress State Building. And this building uh, used to known as the New York Radiator Building, but now it serves as a bank, uh, Bryant Park uh, uh, Hotel. But this is the building, it looks gothic. I always cared about this building. It looks very gothic, this one. I should look for those B cam. Let me see, Margaret Pazman. But this building always makes me scared. But it, before it used to be a New York radiator building, but now it's a Bryan Park Hotel. Let me see. I think I'm the opposite direction of those B cam. Let me see. And in summer, Bryant Park will have so many special events. Hey, Bagel and Vox, welcome. Which corner? At the corner of uh, the Whole Food? Let me check. I'm at the corner of the Whole Food. That's the Whole Food Market. So where? Where is that B cam? Let me check. I don't see any B cam in this location. This is the corner of Whole Food. Hey, Michael Duke. Hello. Thanks for joining us from Guyana. near the bagel shop i think maybe at other corner let me check let me check each corner debbie said keep walking straight i think maybe we will find it today who knows i think we will but hopefully those bees will be very friendly and will not harm me Hey Victor, hello, thanks for joining. They have masters degrees in different things, but they don't have a law. No. Where? At that corner, no B cam. Davy said you will find it out one day. Hopefully. Where is those freaking B cam? You know what? I think it's better I should start on my phone. Let me see. Hey Timordi, hello. Just bear with me for a second. Let me search on my phone. Where is that B cam? Daryl said, uh, you are so close. Debbie said, opposite corner. Okay, let me see.
Oh, it's saying live recording is not available. Hey, Joseph, uh, the weather is right now. It's 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Let me go to the opposite side again. Hey, John, thanks for joining us from Chicago. I guess it should be on the opposite corner. Monica said, what are we doing now? We are on a hunt for finding bee cam. There are lots of bees. Uh, so yeah, we are looking for that. Hey, Maria. Hello, thanks for joining from Sao Paulo. Elni official in the house, welcome. Alexander, welcome. Thanks for joining us from Brazil. I think the bee cam is gone because it's not working. I didn't see any live bee cam. Hey, Sebastian, hello. Thanks for joining. Hey, Nidja, hello. Thanks for joining. Nidja Hernandez. Seen saying a beautiful night in a beautiful park. Hey, Abu Bakr Hussein, hello. Thanks for joining. So in this corner, we haven't seen, I haven't seen any bee cam. Let me see. Oh, here we go. I think I found it. This is the bee cam. Right up there. Finally, we are success. This is it. Hey, Fanshore from Colombia. Thanks for joining. So this is the live bee, bee cam and that's the camera. For some reason, it's not working. All about that bass from the Loire. Hey, Anthony Neff. Hello. Let's see if we could find any bees here. Did you see any bees yet? But I do find a rat. Look at that. I do find a rat. No bees, but a rat, a giant rat. See, that's the rat right there. Thank you, Margaret Pazman, because you want to see this bee cam for a long time, but I haven't get a chance to find it, but finally I find it. Hey, Robert, thanks for joining us from Germany. Hey, Asha Scott, and hello. Yeah, I already seen a red, Bob. I already seen one. You will find giant, giant rats in New York City. I don't think I will get bitten but the rat was really giant <laughs> Alexander said Sifat you are the best in New York City now and where your friend action kid I think my friend action kid in Florida he is enjoying his time in Florida I did see some bees as well anyway let's continue and i hope you guys enjoyed those hunt for bees but we didn't see any bees but we see a giant rat this park is so lovely bagel and wax said i saw a full on adult raccoon in the park yesterday if you are in new york city stay away from raccoon if you ever seen a raccoon never get close to the raccoon they are very dangerous they will not not scare you you will get scared by their behavior so be careful do not even try to go close to a raccoon be careful about raccoon so this is the avenue of americas and west 42nd street via 42nd street i'm heading toward times square as i mentioned I haven't been into Times Square for a while. Let's go to Times Square and take a look. But you will see a pretty gorgeous sunset in that direction. Yes, Bob, I agree. And especially in Queens, the area I live, I did see some sort of giant raccoon. They are very dangerous, very dangerous.
get ready for some amazing sunset views because sun will be set in that direction Raymond Smith said no raccoon is noisy friendly it's not dangerous maybe you doesn't had any enough experience my friend because I did had few incident with raccoon and they are not friendly at all believe in me my personal experience And I guess Times Square opened a new entrance uh, and they had the highest number of mosaic, largest number of mosaic art in any subway station. Maybe one day I will make a dedicated video about those art so you can see it. Hey Art Paradise, welcome. Thanks for joining in my friend. I think this is the perfect time before sunset. Yes, bagel and walk. It cost 30 million dollars for those brand new station and arts. But it's amazing. It looks nice. I did see that already. in a box entering the library would be great yeah that would be amazing but I don't think I will do a live stream inside a library because that's a very calm and quiet place I don't want to bother anyone maybe I will record a video non narrated video I will not talk I'll just walk I can see the Madame Tussauds New York. If you want to see Madame Tussauds New York, I had a full video up on my channel. Yeah, Daryl, that would be awesome. Times Square is always busy, Damaris Cologne, no matter what time you arrive. It's always busy and packed. Hey, CST, good evening. Thanks for joining. Hey, John Helly, hello. Thanks for joining. I just wait to cross the street. Let's cross the street. Yeah, Nicholas, I did remember when Times Square was empty during pandemic. It was not a very lovely experience. I was heartbroken to see my lovely city like that. And I never want to see New York City like that again. Because without people, New York City, not the city. Without people, no fun. When you will see people, that's the real fun. Times Square meant for those crowd. Times Square not meant for to be empty. It's meant to be crowded, hustle and bustle. Yeah. This is why Times Square is known for, as you can see.
Yeah, Gigi and YC. I can't believe either that we gone through those tough times. Hey, Carmen Duke. Hello. Thanks for joining us from Guyana. Thank you so much. Feel free to let me know uh, if you had any question, suggestion, concern for me. And if you don't have anything, then just feel free to let me know from where you are watching this video. It would be fun to read your country name and especially I like it. I like to see people from different parts of the world. And I did see lots of uh, graduate. They are come here to take some pictures. Dan I saying watching from Jamaica, Margaret from England, Nicholas from USA. <laughs> Paul McDougall from England. So in this Times Square area, you will find at least 41 Broadway theater. This is called Broadway Theater District. You will find at least 41 Broadway theater in the parameter of Times Square. Brown and Giant from Brooklyn. Donna from Canada. Anil from India. Rita from Brazil. Neil from Neil and Katrina from Wales. ODR8. Yeah, it's a lot of people. It's very tough sometimes. Hey, Mary, welcome. Hey, anonymous dude from Toronto, Canada. Damaris clone from Florida, living in Puerto Rico. Wow. Hey, Dan Hermanson. Hello. Thanks for joining. Hey, Elni from Brazil. I know you, my friend. Let me try wide angle. So this is how you will see, basically. Devin from Oklahoma City. Welcome, Devin. David. In a wide angle, you can see all these lovely billboards. And soon, right up here one times square they will have an observation deck and a museum it's a 500 million dollar project so soon you can go top of this building there would be a museum and observation deck i already been there top of this building i had a separate video up on my channel i think last new year eve i was top of this building near the ball and the sign it was an amazing experience if you want to see this video then definitely check out Hey Mary, hello. Hey Kellen Lee from Hawaii, beautiful state. Soon, maybe they will have it, but it will take some time. It's a five hundred million dollar project. So New York City is trying to do something unique, especially at Times Square. Hey Desire from Maine, thanks for joining. Do you guys like this wide angle view or should I go back to my normal normal lens? Hey Veronica, hello. All Calk TV, welcome. Oops. 
always some sort of street performance going on. It's tough sometimes to pass through those. My gosh, so much music everywhere, everywhere. But it's fun. My gosh. Yep. Welcome to New York. This is the place you should be yourself. So unfortunately that inflated art is right here. So this is basically right here to make some sort of awareness against nuclear uh, war threat. That's the reason this art is right here. But look at this. I love this view. Hey Talvis, hello and welcome. Thanks for joining. So this is the art that I was mentioning. It just be here to make the awareness and they had different language as you can see different language that against nuclear war threat as you can see thank you Carlos hello and TKT stairs is packed as usual Hey Angel, hello, saying my mom, my sister Veronica and I are enjoying your show, getting from Mexico. Thank you so much, Angel and your family. There is a pop-up market right here. I think we found a pop-up market. Let's see. Oh, it's also done for the day. They are packing up. Hey, Mackie, hello, thanks for joining. I think they are done. They're packing up. But look at that, the TKTS stairs. I think wide angle lens will do proper justice here. It's a regular day, it's not even a weekend, but you can see this crowd right here. It's always like that. Hey, Danger from Palm Bay, Florida. Thanks for joining in. Margaret Pasman said, I can see you on webcam. Yeah. Hey, Yovani Harmensen. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining in. TKTS stairs is a lovely place to just sit and chill and enjoy and admire the view of Times Square. Michael Hosky from New Mexico. Thanks for joining. Bobby said, have you had dinner? No, I haven't. As I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, today was my last day for the semester. I had some sort of final exam. So I did finish my exam and then I thought, let's take a walk because I was going through so much stress last couple of days because of my study. I was studying a lot because the final time, you know, so I need to relieve my stress. The only way I could relieve my stress to make videos and I had some lovely chat with you guys. That's why after exam, I take a train and I came to Manhattan and here we are. After that, I will have my land. I mean, dinner, not lunch. I did my lunch already. Long story short. This is crispy cream. 
they provide free they provided free donut if you are fully vaccinated last year oh my gosh but no more the traffic is going crazy hopefully i could cross the street with them and no one will bother me thanks anonymous dude Freddy said you did well Sifa, don't worry. I know I will do well, I know that, I had that confidence. But yeah, read the books. It was my last day for this semester. Then just said, what's your area of study? I study in computer science. I'm pursuing to my bachelor in computer science. So my major is computer science. Daryl said, anytime I did exam, if I fail good, I know that I pass. I know, man. You will have all the time the confidence depending on... I mean, if you just study before exam, you can't even pass. That's not possible. You had to work every single day. But before exam, you had to do some sort of extra push in order to get a good grade. That's all. So this is juniors. Number one. Since 1950s. And I highly recommend trying their cheesecake. Dan said, hey Sifa, do you buy food for, from street vendors? Yes, I did buy food from street vendors, but not all the food vendors I really like. Whenever I see some sort of uh, crazy line, and I know a few of them, they are very good. And I did try some of their food as well. And if you do not have any hygienic issue, then I will also recommend try those uh, street vendors but a quick tips for you guys before you order from those street vendors like this always ask the price if you want to try those kind of street vendors food before you order the food ask the price because if you don't ask the price uh, fast they sometimes might be asked for a lot of money so it's always a good idea ask for the price before you order Elni official thanks for joining as a YouTube member I really appreciate you Elni thanks for be a valuable member hey RJ this place is so nice and another thing I will point out you will find this type of street vendors they are selling bags and stuff like that yeah. if you want to buy from them do not forget or hesitate to do some sort of negotiation because nothing is fixed price here so you had a right to do some sort of negotiation with them you can do negotiate no one will mind these bags are fast hand copy they are not real but you can buy them but you should definitely do some sort of negotiation but I also suggest if you want to buy this kind of stuff then go to Chinatown downtown Manhattan do not buy it from midtown Manhattan because they are very expensive compared to the downtown Manhattan in Chinatown you will find a lot of them especially in Canal Street Chinatown so I recommend go there and buy gifts from there you will definitely get a good deal do not do any types of gift shopping in midtown manhattan because midtown manhattan is much much expensive so i recommend go downtown manhattan and chinatown if you would like to buy this kind of stuff because you will get a really good deal and you will thanks me later Hugh Jackman Winter Garden is right here a good line outside of this theater look at the line
Stardust is right here. Great restaurant, pretty iconic. Always had good line. Stardust Diner. The Stardust uh, Diner is very very popular. Hey Patrick, New York. Thanks for joining. Margaret passed me and said, do all your family live in New York City or do you live with other students? No, I live with my family. My whole family is here. My whole family is here. Look at the line and the crazy vibes outside of Hugh Jackman Winter Garden. Did you see the line in a wide angle view? Hello, they're waving at me. It's amazing. Maybe they're enjoying their time. Very cute. It's a good line right here. But I always admire this Stardust Diner. Anyway, let's continue our walk. Yes, remember to hit that like button for me if you haven't. Holy moly, look at this smoke right here that's coming out from this vent. My gosh. Yeah, it looks like a, a school trip. Dikirtima for sure, but look at this smoke. Hey, Walks and Wall Street, glad to see you here. Thanks for taking your time and checking out. Appreciate that, my friend. I hope you are doing well. Maria said, it's a dragon underneath a gate. Yes. Yeah, this stream is coming from nearest uh, office or business places. These are kind of old heating system. Yes, I do live in Queens. I am from Queens and proud to be a Queenser. Yes, those are steam. Which direction should I go? So this is Broadway and West 51st Street. Should I go straight towards Radio City or should I walk towards Columbus Circle? I think I will walk towards Columbus Circle. It seems pretty nice. Hey, Vince from Philippines. Hello. Yes, Asuf Laigal, steam, not smoke. I was in rush. And I did silly mistake like that more often. But thanks for correcting me. Yes, exactly, Bob. These bags look nice. But those are some first hand copies, sorry about that. But as I mentioned, always try to do negotiate with those bags, seller. Here is another Angelina, Italian backer right here, one of my favorite. They had several location. And this location, particular location is near West 52nd Street and Broadway. Hey Joseph, hello, thanks for joining. I like those scooters. They just uh, had for display right up there. Two scooter. Pretty cool. 
in front of Angelina Bakery. This is a pretty nice scooter. You can see it and you can take some pictures. I like this cool scooter. Let's see what they got. This is absolutely a live video. This is not a pre-recorded video. I'm from live. Look at those yummy pastries right here. My gosh, it's delicious. This donut, mm, yummy. And this croissant, I love it. With a cup of hot coffee or tea, those are amazing. Joseph said, I was at this place in November. Wow, Joseph. Elne officials said, when you can, will you take us to visit a place you like in Queens? For sure. It's coming up, my friend. It's coming up. It's coming up. Stay tuned. As I mentioned, I was just so busy last couple of weeks for my exam and my college. Since I'm done for the semester, I have so much time. So coming up, lots of interesting content. And if you don't want to miss those interesting content, feel free to subscribe to my channel. So yeah. Hey, Hench Tang, hello. Young doctors in Angelina, which has the location in Paris. Yes, I was Nicholas, but I didn't make any videos because most of the museum, that doesn't allow filming. So I was most of the museum, but I didn't make any videos. Like I was also inside of MET, but I haven't made any video because MET doesn't allow to film. Hulk Hulk TV said, what are your major in my friend? Already I mentioned and I am pursuing my bachelor degree in computer science. Thank you, Mary. Appreciate it. Angelo's Pizza. This is another place in Broadway. They're always packed busy. Nice, nice sitting space. Hey, Susan George, welcome. Hey, Venge from Philippines. No, comedy REC. It's not cold. It's pretty comfortable weather. 66 degree Fahrenheit. This is a pizza shop. Cold oven pizza, basically. So that's why maybe this place is a bit popular. Thank you, Margaret Pasman. Thanks for joining. Appreciate your time. I hope you like it. Hope to see you again in my next video. Wow, look at the view from West 45th and Broadway. I should use my wide angle. You can see all these buildings, Steinway Tower, Central Park Tower, everything old and modern architecture I'm just heading toward uh, Columbus Circle. I think today there is an amazing sunset. I can feel it. Did you see the sky? I'm definitely sure today. If I was at Brooklyn Bridge or Dumbo area, we could see a pretty good sunset as well. Hey, Alexandro from Mexico City. Hey, Gidon Jackson. Hello. Thanks for joining. Daniel said, chocolate is my favorite. All types of mine too. I am a bit... Uh, how you call? I'm a bit uh, addicted with sugar. Especially dark chocolate. I always a bit addictive. No, oh, that's fine. Yeah. 
Joseph Fabi said, where do you study in US? I study in Queens College. Queens College is very beautiful. One day I'll definitely take you guys a trip to my college. You can see the Manhattan skyline from Queens College. It's a huge college, huge campus. I like it, especially in summer. I'll definitely give you guys a tour of my college. Uh, if you want to see that, because Queens College is very nice uh, college. You know what? Today I did see lots of graduate and I feel so happy about them. You see another graduate, they are coming here taking pictures. My goodness, I seen already at least 10, 15 graduate. Look at this cute horsey. Wow. That's amazing. Meta isn't there. I love horse. And I did ha uploaded a video. I mean, I did a live stream from a horse carriage uh, ride that I did, I guess, in 2020, if I'm not wrong. It was a pretty fun experience, but that's very expensive. It's cost me around 150 bucks without tips. So yeah, it's very expensive. Hey, Taylor the Nerd. And yes, man, hello and welcome. I think uh, Taylor Swift get an honor honor degree in fine arts from NYU. I feel so happy about that. Taylor Swift is one of my favorite singer. I love love her. So this is West. 57th Street, 57th Street known as a Blenius Row, and you know why. Look at these amazing buildings. Susan George said, I love Taylor Swift. Me too. She's so cute. Very, very talented and anonymous dude. I love her eyes, especially the eyes. Very addictive eyes she has. I wish one day I will meet her in the street like Kendall Jenner. So this is 57th Street. This is North Storm. And this is Blinier's Row. 57th Street, known as a Billionaire's Row. Wow, I should check out those indoor plants inside the North Storm. My gosh, I haven't seen them. So many plants. And you guys know that I love plants. I love gardening. So I should definitely cross the street and check out this indoor plant section. Go and check. This is 432 Park Avenue. Sure, sure, Gigi and YC. That's another great idea. But in a concert, stuff like that is very tough. Let's go. I think I can go inside this. Close for a private event. Oh, there are some sort of private event going on. So I can't go inside. But look at those indoor plants. They are amazing. These Gigi plant, I had one. They are very affordable and easy to grow. If you want to wanna grow indoor plant, then I always appreciate Gigi plant. These Gigi plant, they are amazing to grow. Doesn't need enough lights. 
very easy to grow very easy I think this is a new new store right here and this snack plant is also another easiest growing plant this snack plant this is called snack plant so yeah another easiest growing uh, plant indoor plant it's a private event that's why I can't go in anyway maybe another day Yeah, kind of spell GG plan. Yeah. So here we are at Columbus Circle. And at the corner of West 58th Street and Broadway, you will find tons of great restaurants and some fancy place to eat. Ferry Nila Bakery is right here as well at the corner. So, and then you will find, I guess, Vinci. Perfect place for some sort of yummy gelato. So this corner is very popular. And also there is another Magnolia Bakery, another favorite bakery of mine. Angelina and Magnolia, both are very great. And this is Vinci, you can see all this ice cream and gelato. Hey Gregory, thanks for joining. graduation balloons right here congrats grads proud of you elne official said i have seen your lemon trees they are beautiful yes elne official i'm so looking forward about those brand new family member i got two brand new lemon and lime tree one is improved mere lemon and another was one is thornless key lime both are my favorite and very easy to grow as, as an indoor plant because in northeast uh, in New York City, we can't plant them in a ground. Uh, we need to take them uh, home inside during winter and give them some sort of supplement light stuff like that. And I do have all those set up. I already had three lemon tree. So two total, I have five lemon trees. I'm pretty looking forward. it will be fruits or flowering I'll definitely put some pictures as well yeah lemon water is good but in basically I do not grow lemon tree for some sort of fruits or stuff like that I can buy fruits anytime but the thing I really like about lemon tree they bloom when they bloom the fragrance of a lemon tree is amazing that's the reason i'm blooming i mean i'm growing lemon tree so it would give me some sort of fragrance and makes my home beat interesting so let's take a walk inside central park in this lovely evening i need some natural walk Let's take a quick walk inside Central Park. Nice natural place, natural heaven inside a big city.
and hopefully today I will find Apache because each time I came to Central Park I always looking for my horse Apache I personally don't own that horse but I did a horse carriage ride and my horse name was Apache so I always looking for my Apache it seems like I personally own that horse something like that yeah Daniel for sure and one of the best man-made park almost 843 acre and one of the most popular park in the world One more graduate is right here. So this direction is 7th Avenue South, but I'm heading towards 5th Avenue. Wow, look at the view of Essex House, Steinway Tower. Beautiful. This is the place we were, Times Square, in that direction. Yes, Bagel and Wax, cheers to the graduates. Thing, I will uh, exit from this path it's just a small walk inside Central Park a very peaceful evening here very peaceful finger crossed hopefully I will find Apache at the corner of 6th Avenue Thanks, Joseph. Appreciate it. It's my pleasure to show you guys New York City. Wow, the sky looks very dramatic. So many horses. Apache, where are you? I am looking for you Apache are you there love this view I like blue top or gray blue top or gray are you Apache nope 
So John Van said, how you will know it's Apache? The master know me. So I know the master of those horse and he knows me as well. So if I seen that guy, I will I'll know that this is the Apache. I know the master. But I forget the name of the master. No more Apache. Nope, this is not Apache. Maybe I had to come a bit earlier. Then I could see Apache. Maybe next time. They will take a joy ride. Joe, fate Joe creation thing where do the horse sleep at night I think they had a separate separate uh, separate place for those horse I'm not exactly too sure but they definitely had some sort of separate place for those horses Daryl said Alex was the one with Apache oh yeah thanks thanks Daryl yeah I guess his name was Alex I didn't see Alex. I mean, next time if I be here, uh, I will ask for Alex and his horse Apache. Next time, maybe I will come a bit earlier because I did already meet Alex few times in my live stream, maybe at least five months ago. After that, I I didn't see him in this area. hey brenda d thanks for joining another cute horse looking at us very nice i know some of you guys are very upset upset about those horses but i know i don't know what to say about it i hope those uh, horses really good take care of I mean the master of those horse really take care of them Bobke say the horse slip at Clinton Park stable location on 52nd Street near the Hudson River thanks Bob thanks for sharing the information with us appreciate it so I will show you guys one thing this is fifth Avenue and I mean fifth Avenue subway station you can take in R and W train once you get out from this station, you will get a pretty look at that. This is the from this particular train station. The view is just amazing. So I am at the corner of 59th Street and 5th Avenue. From there, you will get a pretty cool view. I had an Instagram Reels that over six, that's over almost uh, 600,000 views, and I took those Insta Reels right at that corner. So many of you wanna know that from where I go get those uh, views. So this is the place I get those views. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram, feel free to follow me on Instagram as well. New York City walking show you can follow me on Facebook TikTok, any social media I did post lots of reels in my Instagram I'm mostly active on my Instagram if you had any question concern you can ask me on Instagram so right at that corner you will get this amazing view of 
Manhattan skyline and I made a 30 second video here and put my Instagram and it was over 600,000 views this is an amazing location you can come and you can get this amazing view Maria is saying back to the noise again I had to beg we can stay all night inside Central Park thanks Susan hey Daryl Janik thanks for joining us Hey, Andre Christopher from Brazil, thanks for joining. is honking my gosh people doesn't have any types of passions especially when they are driving always in rush and this is the plaza hotel well-renowned hotel the plaza hotel I think the beautiful Pulitzer fountain is on my gosh after a long time I haven't seen Pulitzer fountain is on tonight they are on check that out this is Pulitzer fountain and they are on tonight yes Taylor Denard 9 yes this is the hotel you seen in Home Alone 2 lost in New York this fountain is gorgeous one two three four five six six layers the water is doesn't seems to be that clean but the fountain is very pretty yeah Bob kiss each Christmas this fountain looks different they had different unique experience unique design anyway I will not make this video too long I think this is the perfect place to end this video I hope you guys enjoyed this video if so then before you leave please hit that like button for me and if you want to see more video from New York City then definitely subscribe to my channel for regular updates and video like that feel free to check out my patreon page or be a YouTube member because patreon and youtube membership is a great way if you would like what i do in new york city and want to support then you can do so via patreon and you can also do one-time donation via paypal all the link you have seen right here and in my video description box as well so before i leave as always i say that try to spread some positivity and positive vibes to the world guys because nowadays we are having so much negativity and stuff like that but we should spread some positive vibes throughout the world so if you can just try just try to do some sort of positive action once positive action per day will change you and change the society so thank you so much once again for taking your time and enjoying this live stream i will see you guys somewhere else from new york city till then stay safe and be positive bye bye